Hi everybody and um, welcome to today's discussion on biomedical science. Um, I just wanted to go through my own personal experience with um, studying this course and I just wanted to give you a recommendation as to whether you should choose biomedical science and or maybe ne not necessarily or maybe just choose something else. So let's briefly go through um, my experience. I started biomedical science in 2005 and the first year for me was a little bit of a shock to the system because I suppose when I entered uni and I realized that everybody's like at the enter of 90 plus, you know, everyone there studying biomedical science is quite smart because, you know, they got pretty high enter. Then the competition level within that group is already like pretty high because these are smart students. Keep that in mind. It's not necessarily saying that just because they got that enter, they'll actually get anywhere in biomedical science, but you know, just keep that in mind. Um, the very first day, I remember I forgot my lab coat, I forgot my lab book, I came late from Poland because I was on a holiday, and so I got yelled at, of course, very nice, first five minutes into uni, I'm ten minutes late, okay, and, and um, basically I didn't start it off from a very good level, okay, and I started slowly disliking the course, to be honest. Um, and it was probably more of my approach. I didn't know anybody there. I found myself in a position where um, Everybody kept on changing. It wasn't like school anymore. Okay, it wasn't the same anymore um, You didn't know everybody there. It was kind of awkward to meet, you know, 300 people all at once um, But anyway, I managed to make a few friends and eventually to feel quite comfortable at uni um, but, you know, I was, I started tutoring as well, so I was devoting most of my time to tutoring, um, which is what I still do to today. Um, so, the exams are doable in biomedical science, they're not hard, as long as you are very selective of what you're going to learn, then you'll be fine, okay? You should be going to all the lectures, um, personally, actually, I didn't go to lectures, I'm going to contradict myself here. Because I found that going to lectures wasn't effective personally for me. I couldn't concentrate in them. I kept on getting distracted by people sleeping on their desks and, you know, eating food. Food always distracts me. So, um, yeah, I just decided to, you know, stay at home and listen to lectures online because you're able to do that as well. So, um, just, you know, it is quite, the exams are worth 60% of the entire unit. You do have a lot of lab work, and if you're the sort of person that loves labs, then you're going to enjoy biomedical science. Okay, in the first year of biomedical science, there was physics, which freaked me out, because this was uni physics, so I was like, oh no. But it wasn't that bad, actually. It didn't turn out to be bad. Um, we had a subject about cells, histology. Um, this was all in one subject. Um, then we had a little bit of biochemistry uh, in the very first year and biochemistry was quite challenging um, and Then I we could choose an elective so I chose chemistry Okay, so my averages average marks in that first year um, first semester were 60 for all of the biomed courses subjects 60 something, you know 60 so credits um, and then for my chemistry, it was a high distinction. I got 82. So it was pretty good. I was pretty impressed because I remember cramming in organic chemistry the night before when I didn't even know what organic chemistry was. So it was a pretty good effort. Um, then the second semester, um, I don't remember much about the second semester. Um, I think that's when my little sister was born. So I kind of didn't care about uni in any sense then. So I'm not going to give you any, any advice about that time. Okay, the holidays are the best because in the holidays you go from November up to March full of holidays, you know, you can just take in your vitamin C supplies, you know, or any other supply that you need during the summer break. Okay, so um, yeah, the holidays are I think the best part of university, my university degrees. So you can travel, I've been to many places around the world um, and I still intend to go um, in the next few, you know, months and so. So it's really good in traveling and in just like making a little bit of money on the side, you know, finding a part-time job, going to the beach, everything is perfect. Okay, so I started my second year, I got my new car, um, I was so excited, I had freedom, I didn't have to catch a bus, so I didn't have to like, 
miss lectures to, you know, run over to the bus and make sure that he doesn't, you know, drive away without me. Um, but getting a car wasn't the best idea because then instead of going to uni, I kept on going to Chatston and all of these things. So in the second year, I think I, um, learned very quickly that you need to take uni a little bit more seriously. You can't just bludge off. You like, I, I remember there were times when I didn't really show up even to my lectures, my labs, I didn't really care. And I ended up learning my lesson then. I ended up um, failing second year chemistry because I did nothing, absolutely nothing for the whole semester. So that's why I failed. And then I basically crashed because I knew that I didn't want to get into medicine anymore. Not because I couldn't, but because I just realized that medicine is not the career pathway for me. So it would be, I changed my mind. I wanted to do engineering or something else something other than that. So I really crashed at the end of the second year, um, personally, because I thought I always knew what I wanted to do. I always had it figured out. And at that stage of the year, at that stage of my life, it all came crashing down. It, I realized that, Hey, what am I doing here? I don't want to do this course anymore. It was too late. I was two thirds of the way in. Okay. So um, I really suggest that you decide whether or not you actually want to do med and when you get into biomed whether you're going to stay absolutely committed to doing that properly you know to doing it properly to taking it seriously because it's hard to take biomedical science seriously honestly I was sitting there laughing at it half of the time so I'm probably not the best example to uh, you know the per best person to refer to whether or not biomedical science is fun or things because I didn't personally like it. I, I think I like my engineering course better um, and I find it it's more practical because after it there's going to be um, a job for me waiting whereas after biomedical science that you can get a job of course some of my friends have jobs in this department but you really have to do further study to get a good job okay so my third year was just you know going downhill <laughs> Uh, well, no, actually my third year was the best marks I have uh, ever gotten at uni. I was getting distinctions in everything and a high distinction, um, high distinctions and distinctions. So I don't know why I was getting those marks. I mean, I, I really didn't like the course. I just figured out a strategy to learn. And that strategy was to be very, very selective of exactly what I'm going to learn. I wasn't sitting there all day studying 2000 terms a day or something. I was just going, huh. I'm going to use that. I'm going to throw that away. That irrelevant. You know, I was selective of what I'm going to study. And that's what you need to learn how to do. And it took me two years. It took me two years to actually figure out a strategy of studying for biomedical science. And then I graduated. So like I didn't even have an opportunity to use it. Okay. Because maybe if I had, you know, more years, I could have gotten like high distinction in everything. But unfortunately not. So now I'm at engineering and I'm trying to figure out a system of engineering study, which is very different to biomedical science. Okay, so I just wanted to go through a few things. First of all, a lot of people say that biomedical science is a memory game. Personally, I studied it by watching videos on YouTube. I studied it by really trying to, instead of cramming irrelevant things into my mind. I was trying to actually understand what the mechanisms behind everything was. I'm a very curious person. I love to know why things are the way they are. And so I was trying to, I was using Wikipedia by the way, which is apparently not a source where you get your um, academic um, information from, but I was still using it. It was very good, effective, especially in third year. Um, so I was trying to understand the fundamental mechanisms behind each of the processes. And that was what made me different to everybody else in that course. That was what was giving me those high marks because I could explain that one bit more that people generally didn't have a grasp on because they were putting memory, you know, keywords and definitions into their mind, which didn't serve them very well. So just keep that in mind when you're studying. Okay. Now, so the next thing is selective. You have to be very selective with what you're studying, which is what we already discussed that you throw away irrelevant things and you keep things that you know are going to be important. Okay. Now it's very 